So I'm often asked what the orange thing on the bottom of my camera is. And I say, it's an L bracket. And the person asking me goes, oh. So an L bracket does two simple things. It allows you to first connect to your tripod and second, go from landscape to portrait really easily. And that's kind of it. Do you need an L bracket? The short answer is no. The long answer is maybe. Here I have a Manfrotto RC2 and a three-legged things Arca Swiss plate. The Manfrotto RC2 quick release plate attaches to the tripod like this. And the Arca Swiss plate attaches to the tripod like this. With a regular tripod plate, it means that if I wanted to go from portrait to landscape or vice versa, I would need to physically move the tripod head. An L bracket attaches to the tripod like normal, but the difference is if I want to switch orientation, I can leave the tripod alone and I just attach the L bracket. So why is an L bracket good? So there are three main reasons. It keeps the camera weight centered on the tripod. So the, the, the weight distribution is right down the middle in landscape, but then it's also right down the middle in portrait, uh, as opposed to having the tripod uh, mounted like this where the weight is distributed unevenly, it's over the side of the tripod. In a similar vein, it allows you to keep your exposure, uh, your composition basically the same because what you're doing is you're keeping that sensor plane uh, right in the middle. The, the sensor stays basically in the same spot. So uh, if I have the camera like this, the sensor is here. And then when I put the camera like this, the sensor is basically in the same spot. So the composition remains essentially the same. A minimal one, but definitely underrated, is that it allows you to switch from, from landscape to portrait very, very quickly. Uh, you know, if you're in a situation where there's the, the sun is changing or the light is changing very, very quickly, you need to be able to, to change your composition very fast, otherwise you could miss the shot. So, I mean, rather than having to recompose by moving your actual tripod, you can literally just move the camera and it's done. A secret fourth reason is panoramas are actually a lot better when you have a camera on an L bracket because typically what you would do is you would mount the camera like this on the tripod and then you would move the camera around but you're actually moving the camera sort of orbiting the tripod head whereas when it's mounted on a tripod like this it just stays in one spot so panoramas are a little bit easier and a little bit better. That's kind of it really with an L bracket it's a really simple bit of kit. Before I bought one I didn't really think that I needed one. I just thought it was, you know, a bit of a superfluous purchase, but I've never looked back. Every time I have to go back to the quick release system, you know, when you have to uh, put the camera on the on the plate at the bottom and that's that's where it's mounted. I've always found it to be frustrating and I always miss the use of an L bracket. They can be quite expensive. Um, you know, this was 50 pounds and it's a basic one. Uh, it's not specifically designed for my camera. It's kind of like a universally fitting one. They can go upwards of a hundred pounds for like a high end specifically designed one, which is quite a lot of money really when you consider the fact that you can pretty much buy a good tripod for a hundred pounds. They're definitely not necessary, but they do definitely provide a small quality of life improvement. If your budget can stretch to getting an L bracket, I'd highly recommend it. I definitely think they're worth it. I hope you found this informative, and if you have, a like and a subscribe would be most appreciated. Thanks for watching.